Hello, good day. So um, I'm cooking chicken again, sorry. I know it's boring, but I like it. Today I've been sort of requested to perhaps try and cook things that aren't like, so amazingly full of fat and uh, cheese and that sort of stuff. So this is a really delicious, really, really easy, like and quick as hell, it takes about 10 minutes, dish that is super nutritious, super healthy, Chicken poached in like a garlic and coriander broth. It's just so good, gotta try it. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting up my massive chicken here into strips, that sort of size. And I will cut it up a bit later after it's cooked to serve it. But they just wanna be sort of even, so as they cook at the same rate. Little Bear's very excited because there's piles of chicken on the bench again. That always makes him happy. And I think I kinda do it just to torture him, really. I'm just gonna dump this all aside for later. About a kilo of chicken. I'm trying to feed six people with this, so it's not going to be a huge dinner for everyone, but it's going to be a delicious and healthy one. Oh, hello, Max. I'm making dinner. You want dinner? Yeah. He's been making me plasticine dinner all evening. Okay. Uh, ginger and coriander broth. We need ginger. It's going to take a little bit of time. Probably going to use most of this like large chunk of ginger. It's going to be really, really gingery. Let's try and skin it. Oops, what is that? Oh, geez, I'm glad that didn't spill, Max. Because that is necessary for dinner. Little bear, you need to shut up now. Man, this dog smells like shit. He smells so bad. Why are you in my kitchen? Yogurt for dinner, hey, Max? You can have some yogurt. You want to eat it? Yeah, big one. You can eat it. Hang on a second, I'm a little bit busy right now. Take another little bit. What? What? Ah. Ah. Yeah. No, you don't need the help. Here you go, Max. Yogurt lollipop. Don't let little bit get it. Okay, so good chunk of ginger. About like you know, let's say thumb size. That's about five thumbs. I mean, seriously, what metric is ginger measured by, really? Whose thumb are we talking about? So I'm just going to cut into strips, basically as fine as we can. Like with the garlic in the last one, you know, maximise surface area. Fine strips, they'll be too chewy if they're too thick. Right, should do us. So, that's going to go into a pot. And the coriander is, but what we're doing with the coriander is we're just using that bit. Just the roots and stuff, we'll save the leaves for decoration. But you actually get a lot of flavour out of the roots of them and the stems. Pick them out later. And I've got two bunches of coriander because I'm making a lot of it. So. These bastards have cut the roots off, they're a good, good bit. Anyway, litre of chicken stock. I don't know what this bog standard Coles chicken stock is like, we'll find out. I'm imagining it's just excessively salty. One more. You want my yogurt? Yeah, yeah alright. You are very helpful. Um, and I'm going to put a whole bunch of water in as well. Um, and I'll throw a bit of veggie stock in too. I might add more water as that boils down. Because this is our disastrous veggie stock from the other week. Don't know how it's going to go, but you know. And that can come up to the boil. I don't have a lighter again. So on here, lovely. That can come up to the boil. Once it's boiling vigorously, we'll let it go about two minutes or so to just get all those flavours through before we add the next bit. Um, the next thing is sweet potato. Let me help daddy. They're helping very well, Max. Thank you. Yeah, much some more yogurt. I'll just, I'll just use the big one. More booze. Always cook with booze. I think that was lesson number one in the first episode, wasn't it? Okay, so sweet potato. Just gonna skin this guy also. 
very exciting tonight. We've got a double cam going, moving up in the world. And we also have Filth Wizard t-shirts, which are quite fabulous. Just came through today, so if you want one, please just put a comment on the thing and send one out to you as soon as we get 15 bucks out of you. Well, 15 bucks for a t-shirt, bargain. Um, it's potato skin, mate. You can have a try if you want. I don't think you'll like it. No, I don't think you'll like it. One more? More yogurt? Yeah. Well, how about you save some space for dinner? Oh, we'll get a good job yet. <laughs> Just chop up this sweet potato. Again, into vaguely, roughly even sections. Not too big, because um, we're only going to poach it for about 10 minutes, so don't want it to be still crunchy in the middle. That's looking pretty good. Let's see if this is boiling yet. Are we boiling yet? We're not boiling yet. We'll come back once that's boiling. What we could do now, though, um, I do have some more horrendous fucking green things, so I'm just going to chuck this one in the oven, and that'll go on maximum. Yeah. And that can just sit in there for the next three or four days, and then we'll just take it out, chuck it in the bin, and we're done. This is a recipe the first time I cooked it was with my lovely wife Bella, and she's just coming and reminded me that a few drops of sesame oil go very nicely in the broth. So I did a bit of that. I'm going to put a tiny splash of rice wine vinegar. Not necessary if you don't have any, but just a little bit. Very good, Mac. Fish sauce if you're not. Yeah, they need out. Veggie, couple of drops, that's all. Okay, sweet potatoes going in. Okay, so that's going to boil for about five minutes. And then we're going to put the chicken in with it as well. So meanwhile, I've got another pot here which I'm just going to cook some noodles in quickly. So that can come up to heat. We'll see you in about five minutes when that's ready. Okay, I just grabbed some spring onions from the garden. It's very nice to be growing our own food. Remove the dirty bits, give them a wee wash. That's probably nice over this. So this is just for garnish, and I'm just going to cut these sort of finely on a diagonal. Little Bear is losing his mind with the massive chicken on the bench here. So that's a horrendous amount of garnish. Oh, that's cute. Frost destroyed, I'll just take this bit. And this is coriander leaf again, just for garnish really. We don't need too much flavour because there'll be plenty of the soup from the roots and stems that are in there. So that's just a little sprinkle on top later. Also going to sprinkle a chilli. And these chilies are also from our garden and they are absolutely diabolical, so be careful. Absolutely as thin as we can. This is going to be just for a couple of tiny pieces for on top. These are going in here and I'm just going to put a dash of soy in with them. Drop or two of the sesame oil again. So only a few drops, like what's that, five drops. A little splash of soy. That's all we need. And the chicken can go on. So here it is. A heap of it. Not quite up to heat yet. I wish I had lids for my pots. Anyway. In that goes. And once that gets back to the boil, we're looking about another five to seven minutes maybe. And then we're done. We're in the water. Shall I, uh, as he gets the food onto the boil, I'll be your guest here. I, I play for the Bombers and I'm about to be thrown into the trash. So uh, enjoy me while I'm here because I'm about to get dumped. I think it's because of my nose. There's something wrong with it. It's broken in both places because there's only two, two bones in the nose. I am the human incarnation of Little Bear. <laughs> So I'm um, using some soba noodles because they're my favourite. You could use any sort of wholemeal-y type noodle. Um, the glass noodles, I don't know, I'm not really such a fan, especially in a soup like this. The soba noodles are wicked. They're like really hearty, full flavour thing, you know, and um, I just think they're delicious. Got a lot of pepper to feed, so I am going to use two sticks of it. Water's nicely boiled. Did I mention I've got a second pot on here? This is just boiling water for noodles. And they'll be in there for about three or four minutes. 
this guy's boiling away, so that's sort of that's just come up to the boil, and so I'm going to leave all that chicken in there for yeah probably another four minutes again. So, but yeah, about five minutes after it's got to the boil, and then you're good to go. And then once that's all done, we'll serve it up, and it's as easy as that. Where's my beer, mate? Could be the one I'm drinking. No, I don't so. Cheapest beer money you can buy, of course. <laughs> so I'm just going to get these noodles out because they're that good. They can just drain. I reckon that was less than four minutes. It was probably like two and a half, three minutes. They're good there. This guy's done. Where are my fucking toes? I need to extract the bits we don't want. Those little roots of the coriander, they can come out. Few bits of air and bits of stem in there, fine. And then I'm gonna get the chicken out and just slice it up so people don't need to use a knife. Ginger can stay, that looks pretty good. So, get all this chicken out. I'm oh, hoping this is cooked. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Ow, burning. I reckon you want to keep those bits of ginger in there when you're picking out the coriander, leave the ginger in because they're always good for a little munch. I'll try not to drop this all over the floor. Well, oh, so much boiling liquid on my hand. Where's my knife? Okay, so I'm going to get some bowls. Tongs on the floor. So just a small amount of noodles for each bowl. The bulk of this is the potato and the chicken. They're really sticky, which is fine, because they're going to be soaked in liquid. Roughly distributed. Right, chicken I'm just going to cut roughly. Just divvy it up for all the bowls. And no wonder your back's fucked. Yeah, I'm working out of this thing, man. Yeah. Oh, we've got loads of chicken here, which is good. I thought we were feeding six people, but we're actually just feeding them five. So, little bear. Oh, oh. oh yes. Seven out of ten. That is one happy pooch. That's so gross. <laughs> little bit eating. Gross is good. Yeah, the more gross, the better, right? Okay, well, I'm just going to set this up. Hello, Max. Okay, and then a few bits of the sweet potato for each person, and loads of broth. Doesn't have to feel it to the surface. I'll see how we go dipping it up. Sticky noodles. Well, two more bits of chicken. <gasps> chicken to be cooked. Oh no, Max. Oh. What are you doing? Okay, Oh. Yep, I've got battery issues too. <laughs> okay, so now a good healthy serve of spring onion. Just sprinkle it on everything for some extra zing and awesomeness. We're gonna throw a sprinkle of coriander on each as well, coriander leaf. Not too much, doesn't matter, it's just basically for a nice bit of greenery. And then I'm gonna put a few drops of this delicious, very hot soy oil. That are made. So every now and again you'll get a mouthful that makes you go, oh crap. Geez, that's gonna be a good mouthful that one. Hope I stir it up. Okay. And we're done. How good does that look? Top stuff and top stuff. Check it out.